People across the city are picking up and assessing storm damage. It's forcing one of the city's golf courses to close and neighbors are preparing for another possible round of weather. Reporter Alex McLuhan is at the Harrison Park neighborhood with more signs of last night's storm. Tuesday morning storm brought down wind and hail in neighborhoods like Harrison Park near 192nd in Harrison. You can see just how strong the storm was by looking at the torn window screen and all these leaves plastered on this fence. Neighbors had a scary wake up call this morning. I thought again, I was like, it almost feels like we're in a tornado. Strong winds and heavy hail is what woke up Nate Harris, his wife and their baby early this morning near 192nd in Harrison. Yeah. Felt like it was on top of us. And it was so loud that I, when I was trying to talk to her, she couldn't hear me. This afternoon, they're looking at a damaged roof, torn window screens, and a broken window that's letting water into one of their bedrooms. They're trying to figure this all out while another round of rain is on their mind. The lackluster golf season is what's on Tom Baker's mind. He runs the Johnny Goodman Golf Course off 96th in Harrison, which has had a hard time this season. I know it's really hurt our revenue as far as having golfing weather. Now he'll have to close the course until further notice, maybe until tomorrow. He's brought in city crews to clean up about a dozen downed trees and debris covering cart paths and tee boxes. They're using heavy machinery like a grapple truck to haul everything away. Uh, this is only my second season here at, at Johnny Goodman. And this is the most significant damage we've had in that time. Yes, you can see where I didn't rake, and it's all matted down. Back at Harrison Park, Tom Abe came home from work after the storm had passed this morning. This storm tore his window screens and broke the shutters. So the good thing is, though, is, you know, the main part of the house is okay. All this stuff can be replaced from insurance. And the homeowners say they didn't have anything to wake them up before Mother Nature did. The National Weather Service recommends mobile apps like the Storm Shield app that will notify you about severe weather before it happens.